Hello, it's Marie, and today is pattern first day. It's not first day, and um, it's kind of stupid that I'm calling the series this because I'm not even doing this every first day. And I decided recently that I would upload one video every first day, but I don't even do it. And today is not first day as I'm uploading this. So yeah, um, pattern first day. I was just call it that anyway. Anyway, so today I want to draw a nice summery pattern because, you know, summer is ending and isn't this the best time to do that? So yeah, I decided to do a kind of like tropical theme. I just wanted to draw a bird because I like birds and I decided to draw a toucan because, I don't know, they're cool. And yeah, so this tropical summery theme was actually pretty good when I started this, like the clip you're seeing right now, I made this in I think May, April, May, and um, yeah, it's just, I'm, I'm busy, I'm busy and yeah, shit happens. Anyway, I'm, I'm drawing a toucan, I don't think you can even recognize what it is right now, but I'm starting with the body, what I'm doing right here is the, the thighs, the, the legs, the leggies, bird leggies, and you can always see my reflection. In, in the tablet and it looks funny from like below. Anyway, so yeah, I chose a color scheme, these five colors in the top left corner, because I thought it would look cool. I guess it's not really a traditional summery theme, but uh, it's um, it looks good. I like these colors together, they're pretty. So this, what I'm doing right now is the beak. I love watching myself do these kinds of illustrations because you can see how I'm just kind of moving everything around a thousand times before I decide that yeah I like it so um, here's me just yeah I'm trying to do this somehow I had no idea how exactly I was gonna do this toucan I just wanted to do it kind of like I don't know geometric and stuff I have a picture of a toucan on my screen in the background that I'm just checking every now and then I'm just kind of trying to do something that resembles a bird I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I, I love this pink with this dark green, it looks cool. Anyway, so yeah, life is busy lately. I um, work full time, which sucks. And so I don't really have that much time. Also, I'm a designer in real life, I guess. And I already do a lot of illustration stuff like that at work every day, so I really want to do more in my free time like like right now with this pattern but it's also just I just I I need to take breaks in between because yeah I already did that once that I would draw too much and force myself to draw and then get kind of burned out so yeah I'm not I'm 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 taking a lot of breaks in between so yeah that's um, why these pattern videos don't happen very often even though I love drawing patterns it's so much fun it's it's one of my favorite things also something that I just noticed sometimes you can see like a little bit of my hair at the bottom of the screen because um yeah I'm leaning over and then a strand of my hair just sticks in and yeah you can see how old this video is because back when I was doing this my hair was still blonde I guess it's kind of silvery gray purple right now so yeah uh, yeah it's 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 been like half a year since I made this. Time flies, huh? Man, time really flies. It's crazy. Anyway, I'm, I'm really not talking about this drawing, but yeah, um, you can see the toucan now. It's starting to look like a bird, which is cool. Loving the colors, still loving them. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm finishing up the toucan. These wings, I'm not showing it. I'm only showing you this little part, but I moved them around a billion times in between. And uh, right now, as you can see there, they have outlines and I was like, ah, no, it doesn't look good. I'm changing it a billion times. So yeah, um, you, you don't see that because that's not very exciting. Yeah, I'm adding some more details to the toucan, kind of getting there. God, really, the strand of hair is really sticking in a lot of times. So should have edited that out, maybe. Yeah, drawing bird. I also love, so today is the 30th of October, I'm uploading this, I, I hope I'm uploading this today, I'm trying to finish this today, 
because I'm kind of lagging behind, obviously, because first day was two days ago. And it, yeah, it's fun. It's like when I go on YouTube, everyone is uploading their Halloween stuff and, you know, doing all these fall themed crafts and stuff and like pumpkins and shit and cool. And yeah, I'm, I'm doing a tropical summer drawing. That's fun. Oh yeah, now now we caught up. Now we're in the present. This is uh, when I continued my illustration in the past few days. Um, so yeah, this the, the toucan has been lying around for half a year and now I'm finishing it. So yeah, the toucan was finished and now I'm adding kind of leaves and other tropical stuff. So this is this kind of palm leaf that you see everywhere because I don't know, this this kind of palm leaf was really trending for a while. It's so funny when like certain random things are suddenly really popular, like I don't know, suddenly everyone loves flamingos, suddenly everyone loves these palm leaves. And yeah, it's so random because like why why do they why does everyone love it now? They've always existed. Yeah, what are they called? Monst Monstera? Mon Monstera? Is that how you pronounce it? No, is that even the name? I don't know. Yeah, but palm leaf. And it's pink right now. I'm just... yeah. I tend to just use random colors when I draw something in the beginning and then color it in later. Because, for example, here I'm doing it because of the contrast. Pink really sticks out, so it's easier to see. I could have just done it in dark green to begin with, but I didn't. Yeah. I don't know. I guess watching myself work makes me realize how weird my workflow is you could you could do it better but yeah it works for me so yeah i also struggled with this leaf a bit because of all these holes and stuff i just didn't know where to put them and how to make it look good and it just for so long i just didn't like the way it looked so i kept changing it up more and more adding more holes and stuff in the end i like it it looks good but it took a while to get there this is also the entire video is sped up like five, five, five times. So as you can imagine, this took a long time. And yeah, I have these textures that I'm just inserting in there because I like when you add these textures to illustrations, make it look kind of rough. Just it adds something interesting to it. It's better than just flat colors. I mean, I love flat colors, but it's just nice to have a bit of texture sometimes, you know? It's, it's good. But yeah, yes, the uh, leaf looks good. Also adding some texture to the bird. The bird man. The birdie. Bird son. My, my bird. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. So then I'm just adding some random flowers and stuff. This is kind of like my last pattern. Not a specific flower. It's just random flower that, I don't know, looks cute. Does this flower exist? Probably not. Do I care? Probably not. So yeah, flower. Again, same as before, I draw a rough shape that just looks really stupid and then change all the anchor points to get it right. Really, it could be so much easier if I just didn't just draw in the most random way. I could just, you know, I, 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 yeah, it's, yeah. Whatever. Anyway, doesn't matter. Just know if you want to draw something, you can be smart about it and save a lot of time. And don't just slap everything on there like I do and then, yeah, change it later on. And yeah, all these elements, I'm putting them into groups so I can later on rearrange them more easily to create a great pattern. And here, so I was, I really didn't know what I said and I was like, okay. Let's add a orange. I mean, okay, it's pink, so it's probably not an orange. A grapefruit, maybe? Blood orange? Something like that. And again, something I struggled with, just to get these little triangles right and to put them in there in a way that looked good and not stupid and made it actually look like a grapefruit or whatever the fuck it is. You can also see some skipping here and there that I'm just you know, skipping some parts because, yeah, I cut a lot of things out. I would, like, draw the whole ass grapefruit and then I was like, okay, that looks like shit. So I started over and, yeah, cut that out in the end. 
I'm again adding some texture to it. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I could have added some like seeds in some of these segments. That would have probably looked nice, but I didn't. And yeah, now it's too late. And I'm just adding some random spots here and there with a nice brush that is also kind of texture to kind of fill it in and make it look more busy. I want this to be like an all over pattern as in, you know, I want stuff to be everywhere. And then from here on out, everything is a bit blurry. So sorry about that. Whoops. I kind of resize the canvas to make it square because that's actually easier if you want to make a pattern. I don't know why for the last few patterns I did this A4 format. It's easier to do a square. Yeah, now I'm just filling in some random spots of color here and there to give a bit more, to, to make the background a bit more interesting, I guess. And yeah, sucks that it's blurry. I just, I should have checked the camera, maybe. Then I'm adding another kind of leafy thing. Again, is this a real plant? Probably not. But it looks like a plant, so that's good. Yeah, art. Being able to do whatever the fuck you want. Draw random flowers that don't exist, hell yeah. And I think it's slowly coming together. It's, it's, it's getting there, isn't it? Loving it. So yeah, again, I'm going in, fixing up the details. And then I thought, okay, I want more leaves on this leaf. What is it? This is like the whole thing is a leaf, right? But then what are these single segments? Is this more like a branch with leaves? What's the right flower plant terminology? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't really care. Whatever. And then I'm making it a bit smaller. It was too big. I didn't like it that much. Putting some more texture on these blobs here and there. And um, yeah, look at that. It's getting filled up. Love it. I struggled a bit with putting the texture on there because I just couldn't figure out for a while just how to color the texture in this program because I totally forgot that there's this like pixel persona where you can, you know, use pixel brushes which you can use to color that in. I mean, you can even, I, I just... Yeah, I made this all harder than it should be. There are so many easier solutions. Yeah, I'm, I'm drawing some more these little heart shapes, I guess, some random heart shapes to just fill us in. And some dots here and there. I love how if you look to the right, to the layer thing, that you can see there's all the dots like being added to the layer menu. I really recommend grouping everything together because if I didn't have all of this in groups, it would have been a mess. It just I would have had like 10 billion layers. I mean, I guess that's how art is sometimes, you know? You just have a billion layers and then you're trying to find a specific layer and you can't find it because there are too many. But yeah, I try to avoid that because I tend to have way too many layers. Like when I'm actually doing like pixel drawings and like Procreate or something or Paint to Sci back in the day, I would always have a few hundred layers and yeah, that didn't exactly make it easier. And adding some more leaves and then also copying them, putting them somewhere else to just fill it up because at this point I just didn't know what else to draw anymore. And I didn't really feel like drawing any cool flowers or something. Filling it up more with some more shapes, putting some more texture in there. Look at that, it's, it's almost perfect. It's almost completely filled up and I'm loving it. So then I added a little branch again. Is it a real kind of plant? Probably not. But who cares? I know. And I love that this is around the time where I'm almost finished, where you can see that I'm, I, I stopped caring that much. Like all these little circles on top of the branch, they're just all crooked and yeah, a, a bit weird looking. But at this point I was like, okay, I just, I just don't want to do it all perfect. 
anymore. In the beginning of the 2K, I was like, yeah, you just got a perfect, it needs to look flawless. And now I'm like, uh, uh, trying to get it done. Oh, yeah, and then I added even more weird looking branches, random quick ones that took like no time at all. Oh man, look at how the pink pops. It looks so cool. So good. I love it. It's perfect. I'm also copying that, coloring it green. Somehow later on, I accidentally colored it pink again, but I, I fixed it in the end. So yeah, interesting, isn't it? Filling it with some more little patterns in there, not patterns, shapes. Yeah, almost done. Look at that. Doesn't it look cool? It looks so cool. I love this. I just really wish I could have gotten this done in time for like summer. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you live in the southern hemisphere where it's um, where summer is starting now. This is perfect, right? So this is for all of you living in, in the south, southern part of the world. You're welcome. I did this on purpose, you know. I just thought of you, thought you wanted something nice. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's done anyway. So this is the finished pattern. Here is it, if you repeat it. It looks so cool. I love this. It looks so good. I had a lot of fun. I can't wait to start with my next pattern. Maybe like a Christmassy one, and then I'll get it done in like June next year. We'll see. Oh yeah, this was fun. Okay, bye.